Okay, so we study guys radical equation, radical equation, radical equation, radical equations. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's easy identification radical equation because it's equation that contain radical, okay, radical equation. Uh -huh. Radical equation. Okay, and I want to explain the procedure for solving radical equation. A uh, radical equation, mm -hmm. what is the key idea for the radical equation? Key idea. Well, you have a square root. Any expression equal, for example, one number, seven, like this. Uh, and to say, in order to eliminate the a radical, one of you, first of all, isolate the radical, and secondly, you square. And a square root and a square power cancel out each other, and the answer is any equal to 7 squared 49. You solve that. You solve this equation, which is easier than the original because this equation do not contain radical. However, sometimes happen that when you are doing that transformation, when you eliminate the radical, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You introduce extraneous solutions. Therefore, mandatory, mandatory, mandatory. You have to check in. Check in what? Check in the solution for this equation into the original equation. Mandatory, because sometimes it's wrong. So it's seldom it's wrong, but it could be happening. Okay, so let's move on to the first example to understand the basic idea. Yeah? Okay, you 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 copy 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 again the equation. Why I copy again? When I copy again because I don't touch the original because the original I using I will using in the last moment to check it right. Okay, does I use square both side? So the cube plus one without square root, mm, good, equal seven is 49. Now, so for q, q is equal 49 minus one is 48. Okay, now that's it. No, 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 no. I want to see the checking part. The checking part is your substitution q equal 48 in the original equation and verification is true statement. So I need to verification k 48 so you replace q for 48 uh -huh, because this is my potential solution. I need to check in. Plus one should be, should be, should be, should be, should be. I claim this statement because I am not sure if it's true or false. It's equal to, it's obvious it's true because 48 plus one is 49. 49 is square root 49 is 7. 7 equals 7. This is true. Therefore, the solution is perfect. Okay? Do you understand the basic idea? Radical equation? Okay. But sometimes it's easy when you have only one radical, no? But sometimes no, it's not easy when you have two radicals. Okay. Okay, let's do move on to the example two is square root seven q again q is the variable minus six equals six. Okay, let's do it. I copy. I square both side seven q minus six is equal thirty six. Six times six. Uh -huh. Entonces, 7q es equal 36 plus 6, que es 42, hay que eso, ¿no? 42. Bar by 7, q equal 6. Ok, and this is my potential solution, I need to verification. I split the paper into bar, and plug it in. It's a square root 7 times 6, minus 6 inside the parenthesis. Should be equal to 6. Is it 42? 42 minus 6 is 36. And 36 square root 36 is 6. 
Again, true statement. The solution is perfect. Q the six. Easy, eh? I told you this this chat this chat is super easy. Important. Important. Pero es easy. Everyone follow me, guy? Sure? Oh no. I'm gonna check it out. Okay, we have Christopher Espinosa, uh -huh. Kevin Betancourt, Alejandro Aguilar, Dalida, uh -huh. Brian Durán, Angélica Jiménez, Davy, Kendry, Frances, Noel, Juan Gómez, Alex Manuel, and Jasmine. Okay, I want to repeat again, guys. Explain at the beginning that today is the due day for the test number four. Online and on paper. Okay? And so you have some situation, particular situation, you can make it with me by email. But today is a regular day for everyone. Uh, next Monday will be the due day for the test number five. Because we finish the week, this week for the chapter five. And uh, October 13th is next Wednesday. Is the, is the due day for the final. Uh, I suppose that I will send the test five Friday, this Friday. Yeah, I will send the final test next Monday. And I collect next Wednesday. And that's it. No more. We finish that class. It's clear? Espinosa, it's okay? Espinosa, are you sleeping, no? No? Espinosa is sleeping. Kevin, it's okay? Kevin is also... Yes, fine. Professor. Okay, super. Uh, Alejandro? Clear? Yes. Okay. Uh, Dalida? Clear? Uh, David, is yes, okay? Yes, yes, sir. Super. Angelica? Clear? Angelica, Jimenez? Yeah, it's bueno. Brian Duran? Brian Duran is sleepy also? No. Okay. Uh, Kendrick? Crespo? Clear or confusing? Yes, here. No, no, my question was, you, you understand or no? Uh-huh. Okay, Rances, clear? Okay, Noel, clear? Uh-huh. Noel, no? Noel is sleeping also. Okay, Juan Gómez? It's okay. clear to me. Uh-huh. Okay, and I know, I know what you mean. You always are clear. And what is the name? Chairman Collins. Chairman? Chairman, you, you are late, no? Uh -huh. And Espinosa. Espinosa definitely is not here. Okay. Okay, super. So we come back to the whiteboard. Uh -huh. Let's do a number three example. A ver, ya, yeah, bueno, well, number three. Radical equation, we are doing. Easy, easy, easy. The key idea is a square. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay, number three is square root. Phi Q plus six. We did that or no? We did that, right? Yeah, we did that. We did that. We did number three, right? Now number four. Help me, guy. We did that or no? I mean, let's, let's, let's check it. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, no, no, no. No, no, okay, okay. It's similar, but no, no, it's, it's not the same. Okay, good. Okay, go back, go back. Oh, no, 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 erase. Number three is 
square root, phi q, plus six equals six. I copy again. Do you understand what is the reason I copy again, no? Because I want to use the original without any transformation for the checking part. Now square. This is phi q plus six equal 36. Uh -huh. Phi aq is equal 36 minus 6 is 30. Divided by phi, divided by phi, divided by phi, q is 6. Okay. And 6 is my potential solution. I need to verification in the original. Okay, it's completely true or false. No? I said normally, uh -huh. look, you plug it in. 5 times 6 plus 6 should be 6. This is 30. This is 36. And the square root 36 is 6. This statement is true, therefore, the solution is good. Okay, so the answer is 6 again. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's do it. Now next is similar, except okay, we have two radical. And when you have two radical, it's similar, but this is a little bit long because we need to eliminate one by one. So we cannot eliminate in one step both radical. Okay, this is what is the idea. One of the idea is suppose the square root 3x plus 1 s equal 3 plus square root x minus 4. Uh -huh. Okay, I copy again. Okay, because I, I need this originally identical at the beginning. I use it for the checking part. So say you square. So you take a vanish. Okay, this radical is totally, totally isolated. You isolate one. You have two radicals, but you isolate one. I'm going to destroy that radical that is already isolated, u square, and you have now 3x plus 1 without radical. Okay, unfortunately, we cannot, we cannot eliminate the second now. Okay, now what should I do? Well, multiplication. I say this is, this is the 3 plus radical x minus 4 times itself. Okay, and you foil here. 3 times 3 and 9. 3 times a radical is 3 times a radical. A radical times 3 is exactly the same. It's expected because they are twin brothers. And the radical times itself, you know, you know, you need to remember that okay, square root any number or expression time a square root of the same number or expression is equal to any without radical. So now, when you multiply radical x minus 4 times radical x minus 4, it's just x minus 4. Okay, and that's it. Well, so now we continue manipulation. For example, 3x plus 1. Okay, there are no reason to have separately this 9 and this 4. We combine later. This is 5. Because 9 minus 4 is 5. And 3 plus 3, so remember how we combine. We can combine when it's the same expression inside the radical. We can combine the coefficients in front. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 radical x minus 4. And don't forget plus x. This x. Okay, I put this and this together. Look, this and this together, you're condensing a 9 minus 4 is 5, 3 plus 3 is 6, and this x is just bring down. Okay, now what should I do? Well, well, so now, remember, we have another radical equation. They contain only one radical now, not two. And so you isolate the second radical. The 3x plus 1, minus 5, minus 6, s equals 6 times, Square root x minus 4. Okay, so you move everything to the left. 
because I want to isolate the radical, the spreadsheet that contains radical. Bueno, with the coefficients, six, why not? No, it's, it's no good divided by six because it's, it introduced artificially fraction. I don't like the fraction. Now we combine like term. 3x minus x is 2, 2x. And 1 minus 5 and minus 4 equals 6. Radical. So little by little, you apply your algebra, combine like term. Uh -huh. In this case, I can see, wow, look at that. The coefficient in front, uh, any term in this equation is even 2, 4, 6. So there are no reason to write like that. Maybe much better divide by 2. You divide by 2, everything, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. This step is not strictly mandatory. But I lie, because when you divide by 2, mm -hmm, my number is now smaller. It's x minus 2 is equal to 3 radical x minus 4. Suppose que another student don't do this step. Okay, no problem. It's the same equivalent equation. You get the same answer. But the only disadvantage is that your number is bigger than my number, no? But it's okay. Now it's a crucial moment in which you, one more time, you square. Both sides. Because my goal is to eliminate the second radical. And you foil here one more time. Foil. Foil is always the multiplication two binomial. I have multiplication x minus two times x cell. This x times x is x square. X times minus two x is minus two x. And minus two times x is minus two x again. And negative two and negative two is multiplication of course is plus the four. Uh -huh. Now we continue manipulation on the left hand side, x squared minus 4x plus 4. Okay, for the moment it's okay. Equal, equal, equal. The manipulation in the right hand side is different. Why? Because it's actually no considered like a binomial. It's monomial. Because this is equivalent to say 3, three, three squared. You raise to the second power one by one. So suppose that you have a times b squared. Ah, I know that this is a squared plus b squared, something like that. Huh? So it is um, square root x minus 4 squared. Uh -huh, to the 3 squared is 9, okay? I like that, 9. And I know that square root and square square power together on each other, so it's only x minus 4, but be careful, be careful, because this 9 multiply everything, so if you multiply everything, you put a parenthesis, this parenthesis is extremely, extremely, extremely important, okay, so you write without parenthesis, mm -mm. you are in big trouble, because, suppose you write like that, you say, no, professor, uh, I know, Okay, this is square and this is square root cancel out on those each other. And you write like that. Those, so you write like that. You believe, you consider it, okay, 9 multiply only x, no 4. And it's wrong. Okay, now finally distribute the property. Distribute the property. So we have 9x minus 36. Okay, and this is my equation so far. This equation is obvious that look like quadratic equation. But remember, one equation can contain x to the second power is considered a quadratic equation. And the fantastic way that so far we learned to solve in that is expressing a standard form and fact by factorization. Okay, let's do it in that way. That's the only way that you know. Okay, to so say I move everything to the left, maybe, x squared minus 4x plus 4, minus 9x, plus 36, equal 0. And one more time, we combine like that. x squared, negative 4, and negative 9, and negative 13, x. And a positive 4, and positive 36 is 40. Okay, 
Now, in that moment, I have a quadratic equation and we solve it by factor. This, I, 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 I saw that this is a regular trinomial. Open two parentheses. Mm -hmm. Now you put a variable because x and try to find the combination. The combination is so because a and phi, a and phi, because a times phi is 40, a plus phi is 13, negative both, right? Okay, therefore one solution is a and one solution is phi. In this case, we have two solutions. But you need to check it, of course, you need to check it. Mandatory, you need to check it. You see, guy gets too long process. Sorry. Sorry, I know it gets too long. And the checking, you need to check it for both solutions. Of course, you need to check it for both solutions. Where are in the original equation? And where's the original equation, Professor? This is the original equation. Okay, gain even touch waiting for that moment. Okay, so now checking for. Checking for uh, eight x equal eight. Uh -huh. So you have a square root three times a plus one should be. I claim this statement. I don't know if it's true or false. Three plus square root a minus four. I need to verifications. Likewise, likewise, I need to check for x equal five. This is a square root three times five plus one should be equal three plus square root five minus four. Let's do it in the first one. I copy both, but let's do it first. So this is 24. And 24 plus one is 25. And the square root 25 is five. Five is equal three plus something. Uh, a minus four, minus four is four, and the square root four is two, and um, five is equal to three plus two, yes. Okay, this does mean that the solution A is good. Mm -hmm. Doing the second. The second is, this is 15, plus one 16, square root 16 is four, is equal to three plus something, five minus four is one, square root one is one, three plus one of course is four, True again. Uh -huh. Therefore, the solution in this equation, uh -huh, I have two solutions. Two solutions. There's A and Phi. A and Phi, two solutions we have in this problem. A and Phi. A and Phi. It's the option A. Look at that. Boom. Here. Over there. A and Phi. Okay. Okay. Do you understand the procedure? I know, I know it's too long because unfortunately we cannot eliminate both rank. You eliminate one by one using the same idea. Square, square, square. Any question, any question, any question? What part is confusing? All right. Espinosa, are you there or no? Why removing the attendance? Espinosa. Come on, activate the audio or oh, 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 using the chat. And you press it, no press it, no? Okay. Who more? A chair, a chairman calling, yeah. And Edward Hernandez. Okay, super. Okay. Uh, stay at the, when the class is over, I want to repeat again the idea. Okay, it's important that you need to be aware what is the last moment in this subject, okay? Okay, let's move on again to the whiteboard. Mm -hmm. Wow, too long. Let's do it one more. I know it's too long. Uh, to say it's not, it's not hard, it's not complicated, but it's long. If when the problem is long, maybe we make a mistake. Okay, maybe in the yes, maybe no, no. Okay, what well, we're doing one more of this. Actually, we have two more, but not. I don't want to watch that. It's the same, the same routine. 
Uh, well, number five, bring me a little bit new situation. Okay, so okay, you have two radical again, but, but two radical in the left hand side of the equation. Like that. This is my equation. Okay, okay. okay. What is the first thing you should do? Well, well, you isolate one radical. For example, I make a decision to isolate this. Uh -huh. I move this guy to the right hand side. So I put one plus radical x plus one. Okay, now I square both sides. Okay, now we have two x plus three with our radical. Uh -huh. And you foil again, foil, foil, foil. Let's do in the classical foil. It's one plus radical x plus one times one plus radical x plus one. One times one is one. One times radical, of course, is a radical. A radical times one is exactly the same. It's expecting because they are twin brothers, this binomial. And the radical time is said is just x plus one without radical. Because I know the radical x plus one times radical x plus one is equal to x plus one without radical. Okay, it's ready to combine. One and one together is two. Is two. A radical plus a radical is twice. Plus x. Okay. Now what should I do? Well, exactly the same idea in the previous example. I isolate the second radical. I isolate the second radical. But the second radical is 2x plus 3. I just bring down minus 2 minus x is equal to 2 times radical x plus 1. Well, one more time, combine later. Listen, this is like 2 positive minus 1 is 1x. Plus 3 minus 2 is 1. Equal to radical x plus 1. Okay, now this is the moment to square again. Because I want to eliminate the second radical. Okay, so it's foil again. x plus 1. X plus one in the left hand side. I focus it in the left hand side. X times X, X squared plus X plus X again plus one. Okay, always when you always know, but it's frequently when you apply the foil, we combine something plus two X plus one. Okay, stop here, left hand side. Right hand side is 2 squared and radical x plus 1 squared. This is 4. This is x plus 1. And don't forget the parenthesis. 4x plus 4. Uh huh. To so say I realize that we have in front the quadratic equation. Remember, the term x squared identification is quadratic equation. And the efficiency way for solving the quadratic equation is. Is, 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 is present standard. So you put x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 4x minus 4 equal 0. I move 4x and 4 to the left. One more time, we combine, like turn 2 positive minus 4 is minus 2, 1 positive and negative 4 is negative 3. Wow, easy. And this is another quadratic equation. You sum it by factor. It's a regular trinomial, open to parentheses. You put x. The combination is obvious is 3 and 1, because 3 times 1 is 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, and the sign is negative and positive. Different sign. The big number is 3 is negative, and the smaller is positive. Solution is 3 and negative 1. The best shortcut to do fast is you see, in the factorization, the sign are negative positive. In the solution, the sign is completely different. It's opposite sign. Uh, welcome from this. Well, well, you understand that x minus 3, you separate, equals 0. 
and x plus 1 equals 0. And you solve for x, the two elementary linear equations. Positive 3, negative 1. End story. Does I need to finish? I, you know, I need to check in. Yes, of course, you need to check in. Always mandatory checking for both. For 3 and negative 1. Where? In the original equation, que es this equation. Que I never touch waiting for that moment. Okay, so now I organize my work. Checking for 3, x equal 3. Yeah, plug in. Square root 2 times 3 plus 3 minus square root 3 plus 1 should be 1. Mm -hmm. The second, checking for x equal negative 1 is square root 2 times negative 1 plus 3 minus square root 3, 3 no negative 1, sorry, plus 1 should be, should be equal 1. Okay, this is 6, this is 9, 6 plus 3, and it's square root 9 is 3, minus something, uh, 3 plus 1 is 4, and the square root 4 is 2, yes, it's true. 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 equal 1, true. The solution 3 is perfect. Aha, uh -huh. second one is 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Plus 3 is positive 1. And square root positive 1 is 1. And negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And square root 0 is 0. And 1 minus 0 is equal 1 is true again. In this case, both solution is okay. Okay. Nice. And, 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 and. And, and, and. Uh, let me see, the solution is, I don't remember. Positive 3 and negative 1. Ah, uh, there you go, I found. Positive 3 and negative 1. Okay? Okay. This is, I want to skip this, because it's the same, it's 2p is too long. Okay, the, try to do by yourself. Because I want to explain today another important thing. Okay, so we now, we go to the another completely different topic. Uh huh. Que es the solution of the quadratic equation. Okay, pero solution in different way. And we study another new concept. Okay, the first new concept. Okay, we are studying. Go ahead, go ahead. I have a lot of disappointment. I have to go now. I will watch the video after class. Okay, super. Okay, no problem. End the time. Uh, a ver. Uh, wow. Okay. Okay, let me erase everything after I, I load this page. Okay, I want to discuss it now. Another new thing. Look, look. Uh, it's about quickly, of course, the complex number. Complex number. Complex number. Uh -huh. Let me introduce a little bit about the complex number. Okay, complex number is so big, it's no real number. And the real number is a number inside is the number of the, okay, we saw every day in our lives. Okay, by the way, lie in this line is the Orient number line. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and so on, no? six. And the negative direction, negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5 is important. And the sample I want to discuss it now, negative 6, and so on to the negative infinity. And suppose, suppose I try to compute the square root of the negative number. For example, negative square root negative 25. I want to prove, I want to prove that the solution here is no real number. In other words, 
the solution never lie on this number line. Well, uh, suppose, according to the definition for the square root, I need to find one number, can multiply by Excel, give me the number inside the right. Suppose I select one candidate, phi. Five times five is 25, no negative 25. So this is no good, doesn't work. And negative five, que es another candidate, es negative 5, time is cell que es negative 5, again es positive 25. Conclusion, guys, this square root of the negative number is no inside our famous all real number line is no real solution. Uh, entonces, bueno, ok, um, how solve the problem? Bueno, the problem is solving by one definition. So the mathematician create imaginary and complex number. So now, by definition, definition, the mathematician say square root negative one, they call I. This is symbolic, you know, symbolic way to call square root negative one. So now you break it down, square root negative 25, like a, a square root positive 25 times square root negative one. And this is phi, this is obvious, right? And this is i by definition. So now we have a new numbers, okay, que is no lie in this line, lie in another place, que is no important now, que is called an imaginary number. So we have the, the number of the, our life que we see every day, que es real, this is a real number, real, real. It's a number que do not contain i, real numbers. And we have a new number que contain i. Uh -huh. And what about complex? Imaginary, real, and complex, the combination. Combination both, so as you have, for example, what is the complex? The complex is, suppose three plus four i. Okay, this is a complex number because complex number because contain one real part. This is the real part. Uh -huh. And this is the imaginary part. Okay. And also it's the big set. Complex number is the big set to include a real number, imaginary product together, and they are combination. Uh -huh. Does it now? Well, okay, okay. Does it now? So far, in this subject, the only thing you need to know is is, okay, for example, so you have square root negative number, negative two hundred. Well, you break it down like a positive two hundred. I, because. Because this is a square root of negative one. So you break it down, negative 200, and positive 200, and negative one. But I know okay, this symbolic way to go, this is I. Uh -huh. And we focus in the computation that bar is 2 and 100. Square root 2, square root 100. This is 10. Uh, and this is 10 I radical 2. Imaginary number, right? Uh, so the solution of the quadratic equation sometimes, not always, we have a complex number. And uh, how do you know? Well, you know because um, you have a square root negative number. So immediately you see a square root negative number, you uh, realize that it's imaginary or complex. Okay? Uh -huh. Now, for solving, okay, hey, guys, uh, wait for me. I need to go to the restroom now. Immediately, five seconds here. here. Bye -bye.
Okay, I'm back. Okay. Okay. So far, the only way can we study for solving the quadratic equation is pi factory. This is good. However, this is weak because sometimes it's hard to find the, the, the combination or sometimes it's impossible to find the combination because uh, the reason is because sometimes it's irrational number. So no is three and two, nice number. No, 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 no. So we need to find another efficiency way to solve the quadratic equation que es using the quadratic formula. Okay, listen to me. This is my famous quadratic equation. Okay, look like, like that. Ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. By the way, this equation is already expressed in standard. How do you know standard form? Because when the right hand side is zero, when the right hand side is must be zero, uh -huh, it's a standard. And also you organize in descending order of the degree, degree two, degree one, degree zero, degree two, degree one, degree zero. Uh, this is a standard. Uh -huh. Now, it's important to say that the coefficients a, b, and c in general are real numbers. a, comma, b, comma, c are real numbers. And the exception, except that a no zero. Because a is zero, does that part is missing? And this is no quadratic equation. So the most important, guys, in this equation is the quadratic part. This is the name, quadratic. Uh, so see, 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 A is zero, uh, the quadratic part is missing, so it's no quadratic equation, it's linear equation. Okay, this is the only detail. Okay, so the efficiency way for solving this equation is using the quadratic formula. Uh, quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula I want to copy here is x equal is the x value. Okay, by the way, normally we have two, one comma two. Uh -huh, is minus b plus or minus square roots b square minus four ac divided by two a. Everything divided by two a. Okay, super important formula. Super important formula. What is the name of this? Quadratic formula. Okay. In color algebra, uh, the majority of the time, we solve in the quadratic equation using the formula. Okay. The factorization, one. Well, the factorization is in the some easy case. You see clear the combination. To so say you apply factorization to save time. Uh -huh. However, no. No, no, no. The majority of the case we use in the quadratic form. But today we practice a little bit. Uh -huh. However, we have one some special case. Some special uh, case, you know, seldom happen, in which the quadratic equation is incompleted. O sea, que, pero es, es quadratic equation. Que es when the b is zero. When the b is zero, when the b is zero, my equation is a x squared plus c equals zero because b is zero is missing. A never is missing. It's mandatory to b. Uh -huh. B is missing and c sometimes is missing. So we have c is missing. So we have a x squared plus b x equals zero. Uh -huh. And this is scenario on the b is missing. We can apply the quadratic formula. We can, we can, but no, 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 no. I don't recommend because it's easier in another way. Look, look, let me show you. Suppose, 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 suppose. Suppose when the B is missing, you manipulate the equation like a linear equation. So say you, you, for example, you move C to the other side, uh, minus C, 
and u divided by a, similar to linear equation. Uh, a is cancelled, minus c over a, and finally, apply square root. Why you apply square root? Because I want x alone. You know, the okay, square root and a second power together is on those each other. Uh -huh. So you compute that part, and not necessarily as i, because depending on the sign of c and a, suppose in this case, I suppose that c and a is positive, but not always, maybe it's negative. And so you compute that part. Maybe the answer is real or imaginary, but the most important is that you put double sign, because you have two solutions, one solution and two solutions. And you compute this. Let's see in the example. This is the theoretical. Uh -huh. Okay, this is the idea, and this method is called a square root method. Uh -huh. And it's uh, recommendable when the b is zero. Uh -huh. And when the c is zero, mm, entonces it's obvio que the, the super efficiency way is no apply the too long formula. So, you know, factorization, look, because I can see that it's their common factor, that is x, x plus b, and you apply, and you apply the zero factor property. One solution is zero. Oh, look at that. When the c is zero, mandatory, one solution is zero. And the second solution is ax plus b equals zero. Separate into linear equation, you solve for, it, for x here, ax equals minus b, bar by a, x is equal to minus b over a. Okay, so this two particular example in which b is missing or c is missing, you don't need to apply the quality form. Ah, well, well, when the, when the, when the everything is present, no missing, it's so obvious that the fish is the way the quality form. So let's practice today this idea. This is important, extremely important. Okay, do you follow me? Do you follow me? Okay, let's see example. An example clarify perfectly this. Okay, erase everything. Uh -huh. Let's uh, upload the, the page for the example. Okay, it's practice, 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 practice for test number five, uh, that, part, that page. Okay, okay, okay. Some of the equation express the radical in simple form. Okay, okay, let's do it. Number seven, number seven is five, c squared minus 500 equal to zero. Wow, in this case, it's a quadratic, Look, 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 the indication that quadratic is this two. Or this two is present, it's quadratic. Uh -huh. AFI, AFI, B is missing because we have no linear. We have no term that contain only one C to the one power, no linear. Uh -huh. And C is negative 500. But I don't care this, I don't care this. Because in this moment, I can see that the best way to solve this is using the square root method. Square root. And the square root method is easy. Look, you manipulate is similar to the, to the linear equation. Uh -huh. You put phi, c squared is equal to 500. I move 500 to the right hand side, divided by phi. C squared is equal to 100. That's 500 divided by 5, 100. And now apply square root. So the C alone is equal to square root 100. I know it's 10, but be careful. And this is the most important moment. The answer is not 10, it's plus or minus 10. You have two solutions. Why two solutions? Because it's quadratic equation. A quadratic equation, you know, 99% of the time uh, have two solutions. So what the solution said? One of the solutions says two solutions, 10 positive and 10 negative, you know? Doesn't matter the order. Or you indicate using double sign, it's the same. Okay, it's like the option. C, no A, C. Do you see? Square root method, 
The square root method. Easy way for solving quadratic equation. When a B is missing. Ah, well. Si B is no missing, bueno, let's see after. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Moving on to the next problem. Case 8. A is easy. X squared plus 5 equals 69. 69. 69. Okay, a quadratic equation, of course, a quadratic equation. Uh -huh. um, it's already expressing a standard, no? No, no, because to, to be standard, right hand side must be zero. Uh -huh. Then uh, you have two possibilities, no? You have two possibilities. One possibility is, uh, well, you realize it can be a zero because no x, we have no x, we have no term that contains x to the one power, the b is zero. Uh -huh. So you definitely uh, try to do using the square root method. So you move phi to the other side, 69 minus phi is 64, and you apply square root method, both sides. x is equal, Square root 64 is 8, and don't forget, please, plus or minus. Uh -huh. This is one way, in my opinion, is the best. Another study say, no, 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 wait, wait, I don't like this. Okay, okay. You can press the equation in a standard. Okay, you move 69 to the left. And we combine a 64. And you realize, wow. This is this is the difference of a square and you factorization like that. Like that. X x a eight is square root of four plus or minus equal to zero. And you separate into linear equation, and the first linear equation is x plus a equal to zero. That's mean okay, x is negative a, and the second is x minus a equal to zero, that means that x is positive. And we get exactly the same solution of this. Okay, this was by factory. This was by square. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In this case, um, factorization was easy. But not always is easy. So you need to understand this. Okay, let's select the select the select select the, the solution is D. Negative A and positive A. Two solutions, guys. Two solutions, plus or minus. Don't forget, so you make a decision for solving using square root. It's easy. But the only thing you have to remember is that when you apply the square root, we have two solutions, plus and minus. No only one. Uh -huh. So you apply only only one, the positive, and to set your answer is totally incomplete. Okay, let's do one, one more. Uh, similar, no? Similar, similar, similar number nine. Number nine is 2m squared. Minus 56 equals zero. Okay, quadratic equation again. Mm -hmm. This quadratic equation is already expressing a standard because right hand side is zero, but B is missing. You see, B is missing, so it's better doing it that way, so like a square root method, no? Uh -huh. So it's 2m squared equal 56 divided by 2 m square is equal you put in the calculator 56 divided by 2 is 28 okay and you apply square root both side and along is equal to square root 28 okay listen mm, 28 is no perfect square but don't worry because you know how 
Okay, and you see you put in a calculator, no good. Because you put in a calculator, calculator give me a decimal approximation. The majority of calculator give me a decimal approximation. No, no, no. I want I don't want decimal approximation. I want the final answer. I want the the exact answer. So say I take 28, you know the rule. Break it down, primary factorization, divided by 14, divided by 2 is 7. And you did you see that we have a couple of two. This couple of two represent one two outside. Then we have two radical seven. This seven is stay inside the radical. We go, don't get married and go outside the radical. No. And don't forget plus or minus. Everything we finish the square root method, you put plus or minus. Here's the auction. A. Any question? Any question? So we study another way for solving quadratic equation. Uh -huh. Of course, I focus here in the particular scenario in which the quadratic equation is incomplete. B is missing or C is missing. But we study now when the nobody is missing. So this is completely. Uh, uh -huh. And we need to be aware in the case in which the solution are complex. OK, OK, because sometimes complex, sometimes no. Uh -huh. OK, suppose the example 10 is x squared minus 10x plus 34 equal to 0. OK, the problem is say find their non-real complex solution, OK, because they suppose that the answer is, is complex. Uh, so what is the organization of the solution? OK, this equation is quadratic. Good. This equation is already present in standard. Good. You determine ABC. OK, it's impossible to determine ABC if no standard. Uh, suppose that I give you an equation like that. By the way, it's equivalent, no? Because I move 34 to the right hand side, and you say a is one. Let's take a feature here. Look at that. B is negative 10, and C is positive 34. And so you believe that this this is wrong because A is one, B is negative 10, but C is no negative 34. So first the book. You need to express the equation in a standard, and after you can see who is A, B, C. And plugging in, plugging in where? In the quadratic formula. Okay, the quadratic formula is like that. I suppose that when you finish this week, you memorize very well that formula. And it's important in college algebra, that formula. So the, from the first day to the last day, we solve a quadratic equation, quadratic equation using quadratic formula. This is the key idea in Cole algebra. Okay, so the plugging in, plugging in. Let's do it, but be careful, be careful. Stay we're using calculator, maybe. So minus b, minus b, minus b. The formula has a minus here, and b in our particular example is minus ten. So when you plug in here, we have double minus. So minus minus. Look, minus minus ten. Uh, I want to skip this because when you see a double minus, I automatically I put that positive thing, but it's okay. It's the first time it happened. Square root. So inside the radical, we have b squared minus 4ac is minus 10 squared minus 4 multiplication by 1. The 1 is invisible, you know. Multiplication by c is 34 positive. Divided by 2 times 1. Because a is one, just the two times one is just two. And we focus in the computation according to the order of operations. I focus in that part. Look, okay, it's the first thing you should do: compute the expression inside the rack. I put in my calculator. You put negative ten squared. One, well, I say one hundred. This is easy. One hundred. Minus something because it's minus, and your multiplication four times one is four, of course, and four times thirty-four. Put in the calculator, maybe it's one hundred thirty-six. Now subtraction. 
place in negative 36. Okay, now, according to the formula, I compute the square root negative 36. Yeah, I, I know. Okay, square root negative, uh, square root of the negative number is imaginary. The answer is square root 36 times i. And square root 36 is 6i. Six, six so this entire expression, so, so far, so far, we have, look, we have double negative, double negative become positive, plus or minus, 6i was the answer of this entire expression, including the square root, divided by 2. And leave it like that, no? Of course, no, because I can split 10 over 2 plus or minus 6i over 2. The answer is 5 plus or minus 3. Wow. And this is the solution. Okay, actually, it's no one solution, it's two solutions because they are complex numbers. The first one is 5 plus 3i, comma, and the second one is 5 minus 3i. And normally, in the, when, when the, the solutions are, are complex, they are coming by a pair of conjugate. Conjugate means that the sign of the imaginary part is opposite. Positive 3, negative 3. Okay? It's a complex number. We have two solutions. You can write like that, separate by comma, or in this compact way, get fantastic. 5 plus 1 and minus 3i. Let me see, let me see. Okay, look at this. Is this any question, guy? Do you see or no? Uh -huh. What part is confusing? All right. Wow, Alejandro left. Okay. Everything okay? Sure. Everyone follow me? Quadratic equation is the first example that we are doing, but using the quadratic formula. It's okay, everyone. Answer me. <laughs> All right, David. Okay. okay, 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 okay. Okay, I know it's easy. It's no big deal. I know. Okay, let's move on to the next example. Okay. Uh -huh, next example is similar. Look, is x squared plus 4x plus 29 equals 0. Super. Is quadratic equation, of course. This already is present in standard. Nice. I like that. And you perfectly identify who is A, B, Z. A is 1. B is 4. And C is 29. Now, see, I make a decision for solving. Okay, it's the only possibility. Using the quadratic formula, let me copy my famous quadratic formula. Minus B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC divided by 2A. Uh -huh. Plugging in substitution, replace. Replace the coefficients a, b, and c for their corresponding value. B is 4. This is actually negative 4. In this case, no double negative. It's only negative of the formula. Plus or minus square root 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 29. Divided by 2 times 1. Okay, again, we focus it in the expression inside the radical. Okay, we focus it in that part. Okay, it's doing. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, so it is. Wow. 4 squared is 16. Minus, let's say I put in my calculator, 
4 times 29 is 116. Now subtract and negative 100. Okay, now we compute the square root, negative 100. Again, we have a negative number inside the square root. We expect a imaginary number, right? So it is square root 100 times i. This is 10i. Okay, now my final answer is negative 4 plus or minus 10i divided by 2. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay, it's important. This answer is correct, but it's incomplete. Because you need to express it when the answer is a complex number. Complex number. Okay, you express the complex number in a standard. What is the standard? The standard is A plus IB. So this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. Okay, so now, no, 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 it's completely useless. Have a common denominator. No, 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 no. You split, you split like that. Look, minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 10i over 2. And it's a minus 2 plus or minus i. A 5i. And this is the final answer, or if you want separate, you can. It's minus 2 plus 5i, comma, minus 2 minus 5i. Something like that. Either way. Like, uh, let me see. Uh, SA option. It's obvious. Let me make a zoom. Make a zoom. Minus 2 plus or minus 5i. Option A. Everyone follow me? Okay, let's move on to the next page. Uh, this is the most important moment. What are the equation? What are the equation? What are the equation? Okay, you need to. I know that you see before in your life this, but you need to refresh your memory in the application of the quadratic formula in any complicated problem. Wow, what the hell is that? Okay, now nah, it's okay. Okay, suppose 12. 12 say x squared plus x plus 5 equals 0. Quadratic formula again, quadratic equation, sorry. Expressing a standard, nice. Determine who is a, b, c, a, a 1, b, a 1, and c, a 5. Apply the formula. The formula is minus b. I copy one more time to reinforce the idea. Quadratic formula. You need one, one moment you memorize because there's no big deal to memorize. Now substitution. It's minus one plus or minus because b is one. No? Square root one square minus four multiplication by one multiplication by five. Divided by 2 times 1. Okay. Now, see, try to do it my way, guys. You, I just replace the number for the corresponding value. Don't do any operation. After, I want to do the operations. Okay. This is 1. This is 1. 1 squared is 1. Minus, this is 20. And this is negative 19. And the square root of negative 19 is equal to square root positive 19 times i. And unfortunately, 19 is a prime number. We cannot simplify it more. No. So we have so far negative 1 plus or minus square i is square root 19. Either way, guys. Some people say, Professor, you put the I in the front or you put the I in the... No, it doesn't matter. So, uh, one way is like that. It's equivalent to this. I prefer that way. Divided by two. Uh -huh. Now, divided by two one more time. We split the common denominator. Uh -huh. In this case, no simplification, but it's a standard. It's, the, it's the, the beautiful way to express the complex number. Okay, let me check it. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Negative one, negative one half. 
Well, in this case, <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, no, okay, it's, oh, wait, let me see. It's A, it's A again. It's A again, it's A again. Because the negative one, uh, they don't split the common denominator. Okay, I respect, but okay. Uh, the majority of the case, you split because you put a real part here, real part. This is the real part, real part, and this is the imaginary part. Okay, you separate. This is the standard form of the representation complex number. Okay, 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 okay. This was number 12. Everyone follow me? Do you remember very well quadratic formula for solving the quadratic equation? It's important. Uh -huh. uh, answer me, uh, Alejandro. Alejandro, do you remember or you don't remember? Yes, you remember, okay. 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 Much better if you remember. Okay. Let's move on to... Do, 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 do. Number 13. 13 say phi x squared minus phi x plus 7 equal to 0. So when the quadratic equation is already in standard, you determine who is ABC, A is phi, B is negative phi, and C is 7. Okay, I use my formula minus b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Substitution negative, negative, double negative, negative 5 and negative b in the formula become positive together. Plus or minus a square root negative 5 squared. This minus 4, multiplication by a get 5, multiplication by c get 7, divided by 2 times 5, okay, 10 in the denominator part. Okay, so now, you focus in, and the in the expression inside the radical, okay? Uh -huh. uh, try to find the value of this. Okay, this is 25, positive. And this is 140, because four times five, 20, 20 times seven, 140. And 140 minus 25 is 115. Negative 115. Okay, now negative 115. I don't know, leave it like that, I suppose. Is square root negative 115 is equal to i time square root 115. Yeah, it's a weird number, right? I suppose you leave it like that. This is phi plus or minus i square root 115. Divided by 10. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So minus that be auction. That be auction. I guess so. I guess so. Let me check it just in case the rest. Oh, no, FB. FB because 5 post. Okay, good. Okay, 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 okay. Super. 115. You know, it's divisible only by five. Let me check it just in case. What is the reason I cannot reduce like that? 115 is divisible by five because ending at five. So it says 115. Wow. 115. See, I try to simplification a little bit. It divided by five is 23. And 23, whoosh, is a prime number. We have no couple. No simplification. Okay. No. 
Okay, let's move on to the 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Uh -huh. In this case, a little bit more complicated because intentionally, sometimes the quadratic equation is not already expressing a standard or using fraction or no standard, no, no standard. So you must manipulate, for example, 14 is 2m squared equal minus 10m minus 1. Ooh, no standard. Remember, standard is when the right hand side standard is a, in this case, the variable is m. Okay, bx plus c equal to zero. So must be zero the right hand side. I move everything to the left. Okay, now standard. So when you have a standard, it's a moment you see a2, b10, and c1. And to so say you can apply the formula. Doing uh, minus 10 because b is 10 plus or minus square root 10 square minus 4 times 2 times 1 bar by 2 times 2. Uh -huh. Okay, we focus it in the expression inside. Pressure inside, 10 squared is 100. 100, this is 100. Minus something, well, this is 8. And 100 minus 8 is 92. No? And 92. Oh, oh, but in this case, positive. And when you apply square root 92, it's no imaginary. See, it's a negative, yes, it's I. But in this case, no, it's real. Okay, nice. And 92, I guess so. We can simplify it a little bit. Because 92 is 7 divided by 2 is 46. And divided by 2 again is 23, I guess so. Absolutely, 23. But at least we have a couple of two can represent one, two outside. So this actually is two radical 23. And 23, unfortunate prime. Okay, so, so far we have negative thing. Plus or minus. Plus or minus. Plus or minus what? Two radical 23. Divided by four, because two times two is four. You can simplification, no, but not split. Split is not good because two or four and one half, so say you have fraction, no. Much better divided by two, top and bottom. You divide by two is negative five, and two divided by two, of course, you divide the number outside, the radical, no inside. So two divided by two is one, so say plus or minus radical 23. Because two divided by two is one, and one is invisible here. And four divided by two is two. This is more elegant answer. Negative five plus or minus radical 23 over two. Uh -huh, negative five plus or minus radical 23 over two. Is the option C, I guess so. C, C, C. C, I guess so. Wow, too much. Do you follow me? Okay, remember this in these most uh, complicated cases, you have no the original equation is pressing a standard. Therefore, you you are no able, you cannot determine ABC. Because maybe if you try to do, you are in big trouble. Okay, so you organize in a standard. And this is the moment that you see clear who is ABC. Okay, number 15 is a 
es similar, but include fraction. C. Over 2 plus 5 over 6. Uh -huh. Entonces, remember the fantastic way that we are using always in algebra to clear a fraction, que okay? es multiplied by least common denominator. Least common denominator is obvio que 6. Using the intuition, all right? Uh, entonces, you multiply the whole thing by 6. You multiply by 6 this guy. You multiply by 6 this guy. And you multiply by 6 this guy. When you multiply 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2c squared. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3c. And 6 divided by 6 is 1, it's take only a life 5. And it's my new equation, that by the way, is equivalent to the original. This and this is the same. It's present in different way, but in a more elegant. But it's not standard. To be standard, just say you move everything to the left. Okay, and this is the moment in which you determine with ABC. A is 2, B is negative 3, and C is negative 5. Be careful with the signs. Be careful. You see the transformation, guys? So nobody using the quadratic formula, using fraction. This is crazy. You multiply the entire equation by LCD, and you convert the same problem, equivalent problem, but using whole numbers. Or no whole number, integral numbers, so positive or negative, but no fraction or decimal. Now ready to apply the quadratic formula. Minus b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Another mistake I saw in the student is that the students write wrong the quadratic formula, doing that way, divided by 2a only that part. This is wrong. This is wrong. No good. You divide the whole thing by 2a. Okay? Substitution now. Plugging in, plugging in. B is negative 3, double negative. You see double negative? Look at that. That negative. And that negative. When you put together, it's positive. Positive 3. Plus or minus. Square root. Negative 3 square root. I know always. It doesn't matter, regardless if it's positive or negative, the answer is positive. But okay, okay, okay. I organize it in a little way. 4 times x is 2 times c is negative 5. Be careful with the sign. Be careful. Divided by 2 times 2. Okay, one more time I focus in, in the operation inside the radical. This is the most important part. You're doing that part well. You have all, almost 80% to solve it correctly. This is nine. This is nine. Uh -huh. And so we have, look at that, look at that. We have double negative. A negative, a negative become positive. And this is plus, no negative, 40. We go four times two is eight, eight times five, 40. 49. And the square root 49 is seven. A real survey, no I. Okay, so we have so far three, three, plus or minus seven divided by four. Because two times two is four. And so now I highly recommend, highly recommend, highly recommend in this moment split this in two pieces. Look, look, I like that. Three plus seven over four. And uh, 3 minus 7 over 4. Uh, and you compute separately. 3 plus 7 is 10 over 4. And you reduce a lower term. Never you leave it like that. A5 over 2. So you divide by 2 top and bottom. And this is negative 4 divided by positive 4 and negative 1. So we have two solutions negative 1 and 5 half. Or 5 over 2. No, I'm checking, 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 checking. Negative one and five over two is option C, I guess so. Yes, absolutely. Five over two. Any question? Okay. I'm doing too fast, I'm doing well. Because we have time. 
So we spend the entire week for doing that part, get the chat the fly. It's a radical equation and the quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. And, and you see in the another package, another details, but it's no, no important. The important, the, the, the nuclear idea is the quadratic formula and the radical equation. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's do one more. 16 is similar. 3 over 4. S is the variable. Square plus 1 half. X plus 1 over 2. Equal to 0. Well, again, fraction. And you find the least common denominator. The least common denominator is so beautiful. What are we using intuition, no? LCD is 12. Suppose that you don't know. Okay, no problem. You take 4, 2, and 12. And break it down in primary factorization. 2, 2. 2 is just 2 because it's primary. It's 2, 6. 2, 3. Uh -huh. And remember the rule to find the LCD. You take every factor, not omission any factor. And you take, when there are repetition, Okay, we have repetition because two is repeated here, here, and here. You take the majority of them. Actually, you take two, two, and one, three. Okay, you, you, you take every factor, and the repeated, you take majority. Actually, when you multiply two times two times three, it's 12 exactly like that. Okay, and not, not necessary to do it this way because this is easier. Intuitive idea is 12. Remember, least common, least common denominator is 12 because this 12 is a multiple of 2 and, um, and 4 and even itself. So 4 times 3 is 12, 6 times 2 is 12, and 12 times 1 is 12. So it's obvious the least common denominator is equivalent to say least common multiple is 12. So you multiply. Everything by 12. This, 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 and also this. But this is zero, no? This is the advantage to stay in standard. 12 times 3 over 4, well, you can do it in different way. My opinion, the best way is division. You divide 12 divided by 4, 3. 3 times 3, 9. Okay, let's, let's do it in different way. Look, 3 over 4 times 12. You consider that 12 is a whole number, so therefore 12 is 12 over 1. And you multiply top top is 36. You multiply bottom bottom is 9, is 4, sorry. And 36 divided by 4 is 9. This is one possibility. But this possibility, I like that way maybe. Instead of multiplication, you divide first. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And so you mentally replace by 3. And three times three and nine. Either way, uh, the advantage to do the division first is because when you divide, the number is reduced. So it's more, in my opinion, it's easy to see. Okay, so 12 divided by 2 is 6 times 1 is 6, plus 6, plus 6, s, and 12 divided by 12 is 1. Boom, and this is my equation. Let me. Try to write in a little way. This is my equation. My equation is 9x squared plus 6s plus 1 equals 0. Okay. And so we practice quality, quality formula. A is 9, P is 6, and C is 1. Power. C is 1. C is 1. Okay, this is minus B plus and minus square root B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. This is my formula. And our specific example, B is 6. This is minus 6 because the formula has a minus. Minus 6 plus and minus square root 6 square. Uh-huh. Minus 4 multiplication by 9 is A, multiplication by 1 is C. 
divided by 2 times 9. Okay, now we focus it and the expression inside the radical. Okay, my opinion is the most important part, the most important moment, computation of that part. Be careful with the sign. Okay, this is 36. Wow, and this is also 36. Uh huh, and this is zero. It's zero. This is zero. Square root zero is obvious. It's zero, no? It's zero. That part is missing. Uh huh. And, and the solution is negative six plus or minus zero divided by 18, no? It's the multiplication two times nine. Actually, zero is nothing. I delete that part. And minus six over 18 is minus one third. Okay, okay. This is, this is a moment. Well, this is a moment to select the option. So only one solution, not two solutions. This is weird. It happened, but it happened. It's possible. Uh, it's negative one third, like option C. Okay. This, in this moment, I want to take advantage and summarize one idea. So the behavior of the solution for the quadratic equation is determined basically by the sign of the expression inside the quadratic, the radical inside the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. However, I focus it in that part because that part determines the behavior of the solution. That part is called discriminant. Discriminant is the technical name. It normally, is the, the not by capital D. Discriminant. Discriminant. Uh -huh. What is the reason get discriminant? Because separate, separate behavior. So I see discriminant get this expression b, b square minus four ac is positive. We have two real solutions. See, discriminant is negative. We have two complex solutions. Uh, and in the previous example, see, discriminant is zero. We have only one, one real. Solution. Only one. Okay. So one fantastic way, if you have time, no? to determine the behavior is computation first, the discriminant. No? By the way, definitely you need to compute it when you plug it in in the quadratic formula. So this is good practice. Determine the discriminant, and you expect. What option to real solution? Okay, you know, 99% of the case. No, 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 99, 90%. It's too real. Uh, you know, 1% is one, one solution, and the rest is uh, 91, this is 9% uh, is complex. Uh, mm -hmm. We have time to do one more now. No, we have no time. I stop for a moment. We continue to say now. Let me let me repeat again. Repetition, repetition. Do, do you are aware? Let me stop. Recording.